thank you for coming back to my channel. Today we are going to be showing you guys the new curriculum that we got. And I told you in other videos that we switch curriculum. So I have the little ones sitting right here waiting for us to check out what they got because they don't even know yet what they got. So I just want to kind of get their reaction of their new craft. Yeah, I know, but don't keep looking. So I want to get their reaction if they're going to like their new books or not. So this year for the twins, Declan and Miles, we got um, highlights curriculum. So we're going to open them up individually and check out what they got. Nash and Lachlan here. Nope, not yet. We so some of the curriculum are the same because of their grade or their ages, so that's what we're going to be um, looking at right now. I switched to highlights just because I was looking around for something different and I needed like a full curriculum, not something that I needed to piece together. So, this was really easy for, for us to use. The curriculums that I used last year and the years before was Rod and Staff. And then for their math, I used Matthew C. And they're still using Matthew C. So I'm gonna show you guys that also on what we use for math. Um, so Nash and Lachlan's are gonna look the same. And Declan's and Miles's are gonna look the same because Miles is in fourth grade and Declan behind me here is in second grade. But the way this curriculum works, it goes by age groups also. We're gonna just try it out this year with Miles and see if this is gonna fit what we need. Otherwise, I'll be going to a Becca with him next year or even maybe further in this year, I might have to switch depending on how we like this or if we need more work stuff. So I'm just gonna show you quick um, what this curriculum does and then We'll just kind of go from there. So I will show you what the twins got. So I will um, turn you guys around and show you that. I'm gonna start with Lachlan here first, even though you guys will see um, both of theirs, we're just gonna start with Lachlan. So now I wanna get his reaction on how he likes his new schoolwork. So you can open it up now. So why don't you pull out one thing at a time, just one thing. Okay, so put it right here. Okay, so this one is Let's Trace. So I didn't even go through their curriculum yet. Um, it comes with a marker and then it tells you everything that it needs to do. So we're just gonna go through this really quick. Okay, Lachlan, um, what do you think of it so far? Do you like it? It's a dry erase book. And then, yeah, you just have to do a lot of tracing. So his is kindergarten. And I also ended up getting preschool and kin preschool and first grade. So I'll probably go through that with you guys too, in case you guys are interested in switching the um, highlights. So you kind of get an idea before you buy. Um, so then it just says, odd monster out, teammates, draw an X to cross out the athlete in each row. So... It gives you a little bit of instructions. I think Lachlan and Nash are a little past this because we did a lot of this last year, but um, we can do that for a refresher. So, all right, pull out the next. You can play with that. Evelyn's playing. No, not that. Not yet. No, nope, this is something else. Evelyn's playing with the blocks that we use for our Matthew C, but I will go through that after. Um, here is Kindergarten Big Fun Workbook. It says le letters, numbers, sight words, patterns, phonics, sorting, and more. Okay, so Kindergarten, um, let's see. So a little bit of the same um, from the tracing. And with highlights, you all know that it has like the, you know, hide and seek stuff, so has that in there, um, writing their letters. So it's more of an activity book to make schooling a little bit more fun. Do you like this book a little bit better than some of the books that you were working on? Yeah. Yeah? I like that one. You like the trace book? They're nice and bright and colorful. So that is, oh, yay! 
Um, then they can color this to color the picture using the word code. Yeah. Is that cool? Yeah. Okay, so take out the next book. This one is their, their reading book. So alphabet, phonics, sight words. Yeah, that's cute, huh? Um, in here it says alphabet garden, help Barry Bunny find her way through the garden. So they have to do A through Z on there. And then some more letter writing. Um, one of the things that I like about this book, this book, and this book is everything is, um, tied together and then, um, more like practice writing. So they have that. So these are the things that I'm going to have to sit down with these guys and work on. Last year I was able to just give them an alphabet book and they were able to work on it. So this year I'm going to be teaching them and he's going to pull out next book. This is a little bit smaller. Learning numbers, learn on the go, practice pad. So now that's number one, number three, and then all of that. So it gives a little picture. It says, can you find 10 bikes in the picture? So he'll have to do that. So I like that book. That's cute. Okay, what's the next one? Ooh, I think you actually get a reading book. This, oh, I like that. Okay, Nick and Knack Fly a Kite. So they're going to learn how to read this book this year. I do have other books that um, we got for the kids. I don't... Let's see if I have them offhand. Where are they? i going to go back here for a second. Where's that little book? Oh, right here. Um, this is what I ended up getting in first letter readers for them. We did two books already in here and they're really basic, really easy to do. So they caught it. They'll be able to catch on to this. I do have Bob Joan books too. I'm not going to show you that. I did other videos on their curriculum last year. Um, but this is, uh, another book series. So they only got one book in their thing to practice all year, which they need more than that. So we're going to do that. All right, so that's their book or his book. And then what is this? Back to school, getting off to right to the right start. So this just gives me a reference of what are in the next upcoming books. Um, depending on if I like the other kids' curriculum is what I'm going to decide on when these guys get to that level. So can you put this all back in that bag just for right now? We're going to go over to Nash and he's going to show us to what he has. How do, what do you think about the books, Nash? Yeah, this is just for mama. Do you like having your um, new school books? What? Do you yes. like it? Yes, I know. Okay, so he also has the trace book. I thought he was going to say no. Okay, so you have the same as Lachlan. Why don't you pull out the other stuff and see what how you like it. You got your knick and knack book. That'll be fun to read, huh? You guys got your own very own reading book. Is that cool? You can read it for bedtime. Not yet. We're not ready to do that yet. That's when I'm able to sit with you. And then your number book. Do you like that? Do you like having your own school books? Yes. And then your reading, learning workbook. What's the next book? Pull out the next one. When I do theirs, I'll end up doing theirs together because um, it'll just be easy to follow doing both at the same time. Okay, so then he has the extra um, big fun workbook too. So, okay, why don't... No, they're all the same. It just probably seemed that way. You opened... No, you took them out faster, Switch. Yeah, maybe. Um, put it back in your bag because then we can keep track of that. Okay. Besides the school part, 
Do you like having one curriculum, one bundle of books? That does that make it a little bit easier for you we to had follow? That last year. Yeah, but it was kind of more scattered a little bit because we used different things last year. So in other years, I've had to buy like separate cursive books from the program that we were using, and now he has it in his. So he actually has three cursive books, but I think we're just gonna do what he has for in here. Okay, so why don't you start pulling out that book? Um, why don't you open it up and see what it looks like? Yeah, because you'll be writing that way. So it just gives you instructions on how to do it. No, um, I think Miles has been doing cursive for two years or one year? Two or one. Two or, I think two years. So this will be his third year doing cursive. So we keep doing it throughout um, high school too. So um, they're always going to have cursive. Subtraction, learning fun workbooks. Now, Miles has Matthew C. workbook, math, but... What, because this all came together as a set, I still want him to work in his books. I like that it's separate um, from, like, subtraction and addition. So so he'll just work out of here and do this workbook. Okay, what's the next one did you get? Hooray for second grade, it says. Second grade, big fun workbook. So he has the same thing that the other kids. So on here it says ages seven to eight. And I thought it said on the website to nine. Um, so he might be doing similar stuff like the twins. And this actually might be too easy for you because you did a lot of this stuff already, yeah. I think. So some of this might be easy for Miles. And that's why I said we might have to change things up with Miles, but we're going to use the curriculum because we have it. So doesn't hurt to relearn some stuff. And then he also has an addition book, so he'll know which one he's going to be working from. So that's kind of cool. Let me just take a peek. Um, bright colors. Um, with their math, you see it's pretty similar to this too. So. It looks really complicated. No, that's just all squared out and stuff. They just kind of make it, try to make it look easier. Phonics and spelling, learning fun book. So with their phonics and spelling, it was always separate books, but this one is together. So, and he'd had a bunch of spelling workbooks. He still does from last year. So I'll have to be going over that with him. And then it looks like you have your own little reading book. What is it? Kit and Caboodle. Kit and Caboodle, take the train. So his is second level reading, so he'll be able to read that. And then that's just your instructions. All right, so I'm going to go back to Declan now. Declan, why don't you start pulling out I your stuff? I opened it up. Okay, go ahead. What's the first thing? This is cursive. Now, Declan never did cursive before. This will be his first year learning how. So this, Declan, you, you're you going to write this way. Okay. Now, we might not be able to do a lot in this year uh, with cursive with him, but we're just going to try. Um, do you see how it's, the writing is a little bit different? Yeah. Um, we might have to start out with a different book for you, but we'll see. We'll see how this one uh so here it shows them how it looks when you just have it, you know, your plain um, penmanship and how you write that way and then how it looks in cursive. Um, so we'll see how it goes this year with him with this. Uh, I think he's going to, we'll see. I'll have to go through a lot of this with him. So a lot of this is going to be new for him. Okay, do the subtraction. You put the subtraction book. Um All right, so he has the same as Miles. And what I can do too, if there's times that I can't go over things, then Miles can help Declan too. So that kind of helps when you have kids that are able to teach other kids too. So, And then I always check their work at the end of the, end of the day or when they're finished. Okay, pull out the next book. Are you excited for these new books? 
Yes, you're just making that up. Are you excited or no? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm so excited. So excited. So excited. So excited. <laughs> no more to do his homework. Um, so then we'll work on that with him also. Okay? That's your big fun book. Now, what next book? I think it's your addition book. Addition. So, addition is adding. Okay? And he's been um, doing a lot of this in his other book, too. His other math book. And then, take out your reading book. In your reading book. You said it's going to be easy? Yes, I already know how to read one more time. A little. Yeah. You do good with reading books, don't you? Okay, and then the next book. Phonics and spelling. So this is going to be his first year doing spelling. We didn't do less spelling last year with him. We just did a lot of workbooks and a lot of writing and um, all that. So this is going to be all new for him, but he's pretty good at getting some of this stuff done. So I'm not worried. Um, it's just more me reading over everything for him to start. Last year, he was able to pull out every single one of his books, work on his own, and get it done. This year, we're a little bit more advanced. So that is what that looks like. Now, before I show you their math for what they use on a regular basis, I just want to show you really quick um, what the preschool looks like. And we might use some of this this year. I'm not sure. Um, so ages three to five, which Evelyn's not, you're not quite there yet. But let's take a peek. Let's take a peek. So circle at least 12 differences between the pictures. Um, so hold on. Let me just look at it quick. Let me just look. Um, practice pad. So, you know, with height and, or um, highlights, of course, you're going to have a lot of that kind of stuff numbers um so then they'll practice their numbers in here oh that does too at the end of the book then it tells you to go back not at the end like in certain pages oh that's cool okay so for preschool colors and shapes and then they still have to be able to write so i could start doing this uh, maybe next year with evelyn I ended up getting in preschool and first grade because I didn't know quite where I wanted to be with Nash and Lachlan. Um, but I decided to, they're five, so they're going to be in kindergarten anyways. Nash? They're going to be in kindergarten anyways. That's why I just went back and bought the other curriculum from them. And I have um, preschool and first, so I'm able to decide what I want to do with that. They also have write and trace um i think it's yep it's the same one as the other kids and then they also have the preschool fun book oh, let's see if i can get this out of here okay um how many cues can you find and then also a lot of highlights um, hide and seek stuff and then writing letters and stuff. So I think they kind of are all tying together between preschool and uh, kindergarten. Look pretty similar for the the same curriculum. So that's that one. Okay, so this is the first grade big fun book. Um, they would have to figure out the beginning letter. And then this is, you know, same stuff, writing out letters and repracticing and just adding more stuff to it. So this is, I would have to buy another one for next year for National Lachlan. So at least I have one. And uh, dry erase, same, which is cool. I love dry erase. Math mania. Uh, so they have to cut all that out, do the shapes for that. Um, numbers. And that, so, I, I don't, okay, I'll tell you what I feel in a minute, but, and then word practice, so then they have a lot of writing in there. So, that kind of gives you guys an idea if you're interested in doing highlights. So my opinion on the curriculum, and I know it's bad of me to just look at it now, right when we're going to be starting school, and I should have been looking at it ahead of time, but I don't, 
I've done that in other, you know, other years where I was really prepared and stuff. So, does that one go in that one? Put that in that one. Nope, that goes in that one. That wasn't. Huh? That goes in this one, right? I don't think it matters. I think they're all the same. Okay, so like I was saying, I don't feel that this curriculum for highlights is going to get us through the year. I don't think it's going to happen because I think we're going to get done with this way ahead of time. So I'm going to still have to um, either pull out the preschool ones or the first grade ones and work on them or get some stuff from uh, Becca halfway through the year. So we'll depend, depends on how fast we get through. I'll do an updated video on how far we are and determine, you know, like where we are in the year. But I just don't think it's gonna be enough. Not as much as I would like, but I like it kind of for just how bright and colorful and interactive and everything that it will give for the kids. I think it's gonna be fun. Um, but the higher the grades, I think we really need to get more of a school, more set in with their curriculum. But I'm okay to try that this year. I already, you know, bought it or whatever. So. We're just gonna keep it. Um, but the twins did a lot of this last year, so it's just gonna be a lot of repeated work too. Okay, so I'm gonna show you their math book and another book, a, a little odds and end books that we're gonna tie in this year. So I'm gonna turn you guys back around and oh, show you. What we when did. my daughter was going through school books and stuff and trying to find stuff for her daughter, she was telling me about this book, which I love it. It's a human body activity book for kids. So this is something, no, we only need one. Um, this is something I'm gonna read over with them and then we'll work together on this. So I love, I love it. So it tells them what all the things are in their body. Um, top five fun facts. Um, and then it just labels all the body parts and um, on the outside, your skin, your hair, your nails, and then a little activity that we can all fill in. Um, ooh, a brain maze. Mm. <laughs> brain maze. And I was working at this. Yeah. So I like that. I They might have other ones. This is grade K through third. So here's another workbook. I think I got these at the Dollar Tree last year, and we just didn't use them because we. I always go to Dollar Tree and get them curriculum. So this is cool. And then they have a numbers one, so they'll be able to do their numbers. Their added book that we're gonna work on is Scissor Skills. I love Scissor Skills. You just cut it out, and sometimes there's like puzzles and different things that they have to put together, so they have to cut out certain things. So Amazon always carries different Scissor Skills. Um, I also buy like plastic scissors for the little kids, and that you can get on Amazon also. I'm kind of rambling on with everything, but I just want to give you an overview of the books that we're using. Now, this is going to be Nash and Lachlan's first year with using Matthew C. Okay, good. Mama's got to put them away. No more right now. Okay, when you start Matthew C, so this is the first first book. And what they do is they just have to count how many squares there are and then circle the answer. It also, you also can purchase the blocks separate. And what it does is you have a single brick and then I'll go to that same page. So then they can do a visual and they can just put their single ones here and that'll help count also. So the further you get in the book, they have bigger areas to work with and then they would just match, you know, like how many it is. So I think I got the wrong one, but it gives them more of a visual too. So that's kind of fun. It's not needed necessarily to have these. If your child is into, needs more of a visual with their math and things, then this is perfect for that. So Nash and Lachlan never worked out of these yet. So that's their math. Nash has the same exact one. I'm going to show you Declan's. Um, Declan has the same one, which he's almost done with. So the next one in line is Alpha. 
and then he'll be having a little refresher from last year or the primer book and then his just gets a little bit more advanced but if we're using the math and or the addition and subtraction in his uh, highlights book he'll be able to tie all this together so for math you see um so i'm going to show you miles is this is his from last year so he just needs to finish no oh you're right here you have this much so he just needs to finish this this year and then once he's done with this book i have to order him another one for this year but he also has them math books to work from so that yep yeah. well yeah but not every day are there going to be certain things so you don't have to like always work out of this book because you have your other math books no, so that's kind of what's here for the four younger ones i will be doing a separate video on hudson and eli's curriculum when that comes in the mail it's slowly coming in the mail we have some of it they're able to do some stuff from last year but I will go over their reaction in another video for their curriculum. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this little tour of our um, new curriculum. I needed to do a change. I needed to change things up this year and this is what we went with. Um, I'm glad that I have all the little ones in the same like curriculum and it'll be easy for me to keep track of the little ones. Last year when we homeschooled, I really was focused on the big kids and their curriculum. So we did a lot with them. I did a lot with them last year and the little ones were able to just pull out their work and do it on their own. I didn't have to do a lot with them last, last year. This year, roles have been switched. I really wanna do a lot with the little ones because we're just where they're not able to be on their own this year. So kind of excited about that i got a lot of different things activities um we're gonna tie some i don't know art stuff we have one craft that we're gonna be doing per not really a, well i don't know if it's a craft per se but i bought this box of stuff and they've been waiting for us to do it so there's gonna be that kind of stuff in there um so we're just gonna have fun this year hopefully everything goes smooth we still have evelyn which makes if you can hear that. <laughs> so with with Evelyn being two, we are gonna have trials with our homeschool day. It's just, it's gonna be a given that we're gonna have to work around Evelyn. <laughs> um, you should see her oh, face. See, she knows that we're talking about her. So she's being really, can you make a funny face? Make funny face. Oh, that's scary face. Happy. Let me see. Oh, there it is. So we're going to be working around her. I did have a toy video that I said that I got some extra toys that she can work on while we homeschool. I'll have her painting and we got markers and all sorts of stuff for Evelyn. I also, one of the things that I like, I'm not going to share with you. And I shared it in other videos, things that I like to do with my little ones. I'll do that in another video because I got ideas for that one too. So stick around because hopefully this year is going to be fun and interesting. There's going to be trials. There's going to be tears and there's going to be craziness in our house. It's just, it's how our days go. They're crazy. So hopefully you guys like today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and don't forget. What? Well, I tell I said that wrong. All right, so hopefully you guys liked today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. Otherwise, you will miss out on all of our homeschool September. And see you in the next one.